Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to show you another demo of build management system or build system into Spring Boot and uh, to run the application let's say I'm going to stop my current server so this is uh, the project and that is using MBC architecture to manage the resources also it's using server Spring Boot to manage the backend to manage the front end things it's using JSP and other resources like uh, best fragment and uh, all all the design is in html and css and it's using jsp for the to handling the server side response and to run the application like uh, we have a runner application in our first package so if you want if you have already this project or you're planning to buy this project as we are providing the complete remote support, remote support. So in this condition, we'll provide the code to your machine. So now, next step, you need to run the project by yourself. So what you need to follow, just click on the root button of the project, root folder of the project, open the first package, and then open the runner class, right click on the runner class, go to run as, click on any server. You can run as a Java application as well. You can run as in the Spring Boot app as well. So when you're going to run the application, you will see uh, the application will deploy over your server and uh, you can see the port number. It's running uh, Stormcat server is started at 8080. So now uh, open your browser and enter the local host 8080 and the name of application which is Bill Payment Bill System. So let me run the application. Okay, open your browser and enter it. Automatically, automatically application will launch and it will display the home page like this. Let's move to the backend part, uh, the database part. So it's using MySQL for the database and uh, we have this database here and it has a bill, billing table. It has a feedback, help, invoice, user and vendors. So I will explain you the flow of the application so we will understand the uses of these tables in a while. Uh, just view the data of the user table. When I view the data of user table, just right click on the table, name and click on the select rows limit thousand. And now if you see the database, under the database we have a two role. One is a role one will be for the admin and two will be for the uh, like customers. Or you can say users of the other users of the application and third user we have is a vendor so vendor also a user of this application so vendor for when to manage the vendor we have a different one so now let's move to the application and understand the flow how the application will work so <clears throat> if you see uh, like uh, what the process we are going to follow like we have an admin that can manage the vendors and users we have a vendor that can generate a bill for their customers let's say we have a shop and um, i'm a vendor and i'm providing some kind of services and i want to generate a bill for any customer so i can add that customer i can uh, generate a bill for the customer the customer will receive the bill and customer can pay that bill and that bill paid status will uh, available for the vendors and uh, uh, admin user so now let's see uh, how the flow is working over there so we have a home page here under the home page you will see one slide view and uh, about us page and when you launch the application the first time when you enter the url you have one page application which has a contact us which has a uh, like which has a about us and contact us page and put us there and when I click on separately about us, it will redirect here. When I click on the contact us, it will redirect here. So this is some dummy and aesthetic pages that is designed in the HTML and CSS. And now we other option we have a user sign in. So user or customer can sign in from here. Also admin is a user, so admin also can uh, sign in from here. A new user, new customer can sign up from uh, this sign up form. Uh, sign up form. So let's say I fill the data and enter some dummy data and i want to register as a user i click on the save button data saved successfully now if i move to my database and move the uh, open the user table i can see new entry is added there okay this is for the users also this user can log in and perform the multiple operations 
similarly we have a sign in for the vendors we have a sign up for the vendors so as a new uh, vendor i can sign up into the application so let's say i enter some dummy data and i enter save and the, in, uh, the name was Hilda. so in my vendor table i will get the record new record with this name so the record number fifth that is name as a Hilda. okay so now let's see one by one what admin can perform what uh, vendor can perform now as you can see we just added a vendor and now we are going to log in as an admin into the application and see what admin can perform over there so for the admin the user id role id one always will be for the admin user so there's a username admin at the red gmail for the admin so i just click on the user sign in i click on the uh, enter the username i enter the password i click on the sign in button so uh, admin can check vendor list also admin can perform search operation by name uh, by company registration number also if you notice we have a status here as a approval or reject for the vendor so we just added one um, vendor into the system and now we have option uh, as an admin to approve or reject so i approved so now this uh, vendor can log in into the system right uh, other option for the user also we have a delete option so if you as an admin you want to delete some record just check it and click on the hit the delete button data, data will be deleted automatically and here we have edit option so i can as an admin i can edit it i have access for the user or customers and i can delete uh, i can't delete the records actually and i can't edit i can just view the customer list other option we have a uh, help list so i can understand that uh, i can read the help and uh, help and if i want to add any any comment there i can add a comment as well so the newly added comment i can add a feedback into the system as an admin admin can view the feedbacks of the other users admin can check the feedback for vendor and the common page or others and uh, contact us now let's log in as a vendor and check what vendor can perform so recently we added a vendor and it's approved now so log in with this here we have a username for this vendor and to make sure to, if you're going to log in as a vendor just click on the vendor sign in enter the username and find the password field so here we have a password enter the sign in button so what i can do i can generate a bill bill for whom for the users for the customers so these are the three records three customers in my list so let's say i select this user still and uh, let's say i am going to add electricity bill or telephone bill or whatever the category dth or tax or somewhere so let's say telephone bill and i add it into two three rupees and i click on the save and data saved successfully now if i check the bill report i will see this is the pending as a status once the cust this customer will pay this payment and it will update it as a paid okay other option we have a bill report faqs and uh, uh, as a vendor i can vendor also can add a feedback and you can check uh, user feedback you can generate invoices uh, so recently i have generated a uh, invoices that invoices will display here and about us contact us my profile change password and log out okay now login as in customer this is a last user of the application and see what they can do so we just added a bill for this still so i'm gonna log in with this user itself so make sure you click on the user sign in button and i enter the username i enter the password and hit the sign in button if i go to my bill list i will see one generated bill for me and the amount is two three four and here we have an option to pay it so as a customer i can enter my card details i can enter my name i 
can enter the month let's say 12 I can enter the year let's say this and click on payment the paid successfully now the status will be updated as a paid and same status will display to vendor as well other option I can uh, ask any question as a customer so this question will be displayed to vendors and uh, admin section help report I can see the comments from the admin side here I can see FAQ it I can add a feedback I can check the vendors feedback invoices about us and contact us my profile check password and all so now if you want the source code you can contact uh, us over the whatsapp skype or gmail also you will get the link in the description box so you will get all the details about this project prices and all also if you want to learn the uh, this kind of development so you can join us over our uh, with our live training program so we have some um, best training programs to develop this kind of applications you can just visit codewindowtraining.com uh, training code window training and you can contact there you can enroll uh, yourself uh, yourself there are different different projects are there uh, courses are there for the development and this is this will be live classes for the real development so you can join the training as well also if you want this project you can have it uh, we as we have a remote support so we will run the project at your machine also in case if you are preparing for interview and you need an end to an explanation of the project on uh, internal code framework architecture uh, we have the services as well so it, uh, directly contact us over the whatsapp and, um, and you will get a response from the support team thank you